Hey, it's Alex with Bath Christian Church coming at you. It's a Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week. Um, I hope school is going well. I hope work is going well. I hope life is going well. Um, we're just excited because we're in the holy season, right? We are so close. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, and that means we're ever closer to Easter Sunday. Wow, what is going on? Well, let's see. We've got an Easter Kids Easter celebration on Saturday, April 3rd, right here on the grounds. We start at 3.30 with a super great egg hunt. And then we're going to have some activities on the grounds. And we hope everybody will go to station to station to see what we've got out there to, um, to show the spirit of Easter. We're going to have hot dogs and chips and drinks. Those are going to be available too. So we hope that you're going to show up and bring a friend or two or three so we can enjoy celebrating Easter because it's a great time of year. So that's the Easter celebration. Um, what else we got going on? Well, we've got movie night this coming Saturday right here in the educational building. We're going to show on the big screen. We're going to show I Can Only Imagine. Now, some of you may have seen it. Some of you, it might be new to you, but this movie came out a while back and it's the story of Bart Millard, who's the lead singer with Mercy Me. And I know we all love, um, Mercy Me and I Can Only Imagine is the name of the movie. Sound familiar? That was the famous song that we all remember and we all love. So we hope you'll show up here. We're going to show probably probably have some snacks about 5.30 in the Fellowship Hall. And after everybody grabs some popcorn, a little snack, we're going to make our way back over here to the educational building. And we're going to watch our movie. So bring your comfortable stuff. to uh, You can be on the floor. Whatever works for you. We just want you to be comfortable and be um, just be ready to take in this movie and again bring a friend so you can enjoy this and share this great message because he had a lot of stuff going on in his early years and he had to really work on his walk with the Lord and reestablish his relationship with his dad so some of these things are really it's a good story and I hope that you're going to come and enjoy it with all of us this coming Saturday we know movies I don't know about you, but there's been times when I've gone to see a movie and I just really thought I was, I knew how it was going to turn out, right? How many people out there have gone to a movie thinking, oh, you know, I know where this is going. I, I know exactly what the end of this movie is going to be. And then it's, it's not it. It's totally different. It's like, oh my gosh, that really just surprised me. Well, the resurrection story of Jesus Christ is a whole lot like that. When we look at what happened, Jesus' disciples really, really didn't understand what was going on. They thought that when Jesus died on the cross, that was it. That end of the story. And the fact is, the very, very God himself came down in human flesh, um, and he humbled himself, and he became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross from Philippians 2.8. And as his disciples saw him die on the cross, they just didn't understand that he was dying in place of the sinners, me and you and all the sinners out there. And when Jesus told them that he would, they would see him again after he died, they really didn't understand that. And, and they still thought everything was over. But it wasn't. We know how that story goes. They were so surprised when Jesus rose again and he conquered death. They, they just couldn't really believe it. And you know what? If if Christ was not alive, there's no hope for any of us. But because he is alive, when we know that he's here, he's able to save completely. Hebrews 7, uh, 25. He's able to save completely those who come to God through him because he lives, always lives, to intercede for them. And that what that means is that when we ask, Jesus is ready to help. He's ready to help you. He's ready to help me. He saves, for, saves us from our sins. And his power, his power lives within us. And you know what? That's like the best news ever. So thinking back to that movie and how we say, sometimes our expectations are this, but if the opposite happens. I'm sure the disciples were thrilled when they finally realized that Jesus was alive.
at that end of that story. So anyway, it's a great time of year and I hope that you are ready to celebrate with your family and I, I hope you're planning to come to church this Sunday for Palm Sunday. That's a big day, but Easter Sunday's coming up and so we're just looking forward to seeing so many people coming because they want to hear more about that story, right? So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Father, that through Christ we are saved. We have life everlasting. When we come to know Jesus as our personal Savior, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to take on our sins. And we thank you for that, Father. You're just That blood of Christ just cleanses us as white as snow. And we thank you for that gift of love. And we thank you for the time we are in right now as we prepare for this season of just, just reflecting on the love of Jesus, reflecting on that gift, and understanding fully that, um, that you love us that much. We thank you that we can call out to you for anything, Father. We can, we can just utter your name, and we know that you're right there to help us, whatever the, whatever the need might be. So we pray for our church family today. We lift up all of the events coming up in our church. Lord, we've got some, some great things planned ahead. Sunday school is coming back to us next month. And so we just pray, God, you'll just bless us. Continue to have your hand on Bath Christian Church. Bless each and every member. We pray for those who visit and join. We thank you for friends who come. We thank you, Lord, for opportunities to share Jesus with others. Lord, we pray for Pastor Ann, Pastor Jim and his wife Ann, and we pray for those who may be sick and shut in. We pray for those families who have loved ones undergoing surgeries, and we pray for healing power of Christ to be upon them. And we just thank you, Father, as a church family, that we're always there to encourage each other and to love and pray for one another. And we love you and praise you for all you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen, and I look forward to seeing you um, at the movie Saturday night and on Sunday too. And don't forget, as always, to bring a friend. Bye-bye.